Hello, it's Andy from Keyword Insights, and I just wanted to show you what you can do once the tool has uh, pulled the data for you. So you'll be sent a CSV, uh, or you can go into your dashboard and get the CSV, and then you can either pivot the, uh, the data within that CSV, or uh, if you're like me, I prefer using Google Sheets, so I would be moving it there. Um, so what you've seen here is after I have moved the data to Google Sheets, um, and I've, I've pivoted the data into two two different tables here. Um, I'm using uh, an example client um, where I have pulled loads of keywords to do with podcast recording. Um, and if I just run you through the tells we've got at the top, we've got monthly searches, which uh, obviously you would upload into the tool. Um, opportunities, a custom um, column that I've created. Basically, what I've done is create, um, taken into account the ranking positions of this client because you can also pull the rank with this. And then I've applied a click through rate and sort of an anticipated traffic. So, if they're ranking in position three, um, basically, it's, it's a more realistic number um, compared to the monthly searches. And then what we've got here is three tabs article, product page, other page, and then that is the rank. Because this is all rolled up at the moment, what you're seeing is that's the average rank. Um, you can see down here, I've, I've put it as, I know that's the minimum, so I might want that as average. Um, so there's here, here's our average rank. Um, what this means is, so the clustering always clusters by the keyword within that cluster with the most volume. So say if you've got 10 keywords in a cluster, it will choose the keyword out of those 10 that has the most volume, and that's the name. So for this keyword cluster, uh, these are averages, I believe. So yeah. So generally speaking, for the keyword and all the related keywords around online voice recorder, articles rank for one out of ten results. So long form articles, a products page um, or an other type page ranks for the other six and three respectively. So to rank for online voice recorder and all the keywords under it. Um, you can see here, so this is the ranking URL that I pulled through, example.com, and you can see all the keywords that that one page can target. Um, and we can see if we scan back over to here, we can see how many of them trigger. So some of them are more likely to trigger articles, some of them are more likely to trigger product pages, but generally speaking, as a rolled up cluster, uh, you need some sort of a product page or other page to do this. Alternatively, this cluster here, I can really quickly spot is going to be a blog type content. So if I scoot across here, how do podcasts make money? I mean, that is obviously a blog. You can see here by the how do podcasts make money. But sometimes you'll get some really surprising results. Uh, we've seen cases with like um, e-commerce stores. If we take the uh, keyword iPhone 7 as an example, if I typed in iPhone 7, a lot of people would be trying to optimize this keyword for a transactional page. And yet when we look ourselves, we can see um, there's a blog or a long form article, there's a blog or a long form article, there's a transactional, there's a transactional, there's a blog, there's a blog, transactional, blog, transactional. So that would be, in our tool, that keyword would probably be five and five um, across here. So it really quick, you can really quickly see, okay, which keywords have got that fragmented intent? Uh, we call it keyword context but which, which have that fragmented context, which are more articles and which are more transactional based. And you'll often find you'll be very surprised at which keywords you're optimizing incorrectly. Um, you can also find content opportunities a lot quicker this way. So as I've said, um, just scanning down, you can, you can drop down the clusters and you can see where some gaps are. Um, so these are perhaps keywords they haven't included on there. So uh, for this Audio City tutorial, they maybe haven't um, delved into this topic. Uh, so it gives you really quickly the idea of um, ideas about how you can expand the content and add more to it. Um, it also will tell you which keywords really quickly you can target on one page. So sometimes you will be struggling to work out. Uh, let's find an example. Um, web recorders. So we know web recorders and video recorder can be targeted on the same page. You might have, perhaps not a great example here, uh, but you might have been trying to target that with two pages. And what we can see here is it only needs one page to target it. Um, and we're trying to target it with voice recorder, so perhaps the incorrect intent here. And in fact, if I scan across, because we've also pulled through the rank, 
it's not ranking very well either. So this is one with a, a huge opportunity, and this is one we might want to focus on um, in terms of improving that content and building it out to include more. On the flip side, if you pivot it by URL rather than cluster, what you can really quickly see uh, is any times that you're trying to target a page with too many clusters. So a good example is this one. So if I drop down podcast software, we can see this particular. So what we what this column here is is the cluster. So remember, a cluster is a group of keywords. It's not just a single keyword. And what we can see here is uh, the fact that we've got two. We, I'm not worried so much about these clusters because they're not very big in terms of opportunity. But we are trying to target two big clusters here. Uh, we're currently ranking for two big clusters. Podcast software isn't surprising because that's what the URL is about. And interestingly, our average rank for that cluster, remember this is average rank for all the clusters because we've made it into pivot table. The average rank of that is, is nine. But for recording software, the average rank is 37. So very quickly, we know that this uh, URL needs to be broken out into two, one targeting recording software and one targeting podcast software as it currently does. Incidentally, we also pull through the article product page and things as well. Uh, I, I didn't show you, but uh, like you can see a really quick example here for this particular client. When I drop down online voice recorder, you can very quickly see that this, this URL has the old WordPress thing where it's got the date in the, um, the blog, the blog posts. So they'd written a blog to target all of these terms. And as we've just seen here, it needed to be a product page. So what we would be doing if we were advising these is really quickly changing the intent behind this keyword. Well, changing, spinning up a page that targets this in more of a product way and redirecting this to that page. Uh, same with this one. If you find one where it's targeting too many clusters, uh, we would be recommending to break that out into multiple pages. So this one, not so much. Uh, but, you know, as you come down, you'll see some really good examples. That one, not at all. Um, this one targets quite a few big ones, podcast hosting platforms. So podcast, so we know that can be broken out. So it's really quickly finding content opportunity. Another way of doing this actually, uh, is sometimes I like to, if I, if I want to find, you know, the, the products I want to do quickly, I'll descend, I will sort it descending by, um, the article. So now what we've got is very clear. You can see here, very clear. These top ones are all going to be long form blogs. For this particular client, it's not great because it's not an e-commerce store. So nearly all of the content will be blogs. But for some e-commerce clients, you'll find some invaluable blog ideas that you didn't even know existed. Some transactional keywords that should have been blogs uh, and that sort of thing. And that is the output from Keyword Insights. You can also merge other data into this. So we pull through... We sometimes pull in, uh, you know, is the keyword in the page title, is it in the H1? And then what we can quickly see is quick optimization opportunities. Is our page targeting the wrong? So, of course, we cluster by the head keyword. So we can see is our page targeting the wrong keyword, that kind of thing. So merge this with other data, but this is what you'll get very quickly from when you just run our tool on its own. Any questions, feel free to ask, and we hope you enjoy using Keyword Insights.